Let's start with President Trump. Are you disappointed by what you've seen from this administration so far? <laughs> well, disappointed would be a mild way to put it. Uh, it's really uh, unfortunate that we have a, a president who's trying to push in the wrong direction. But the good news is that even after he, he made his views clear, the entire rest of the world redouble their commitment to meet the terms of the Paris Agreement. Some of them have even expanded their commitments. Former Vice President turned climate change activist Al Gore, optimistic that the U.S. and the rest of the world are stepping up their fight against climate change. The promise to cancel billions in climate change spending. Despite President Trump's announcement last month that he's yanking the U.S. from the Paris Climate Accord, Gore praised California in particular for filling the gap. State lawmakers just approved an extension for Governor Jerry Brown's cap and trade program, which puts a limit on greenhouse gas emissions. Governor Jerry Brown is a hero, and he followed up with the legislation last week. That was headlines all around the world. So we're going to make progress, work around Trump. It is wrong to pollute this earth. Gore's new film, an inconvenient sequel, Truth to Power, is a follow-up to his Oscar-winning documentary, An Inconvenient Truth. It also won him a Nobel Peace Prize. Filmmakers followed him across the globe for two years and show real-world examples of extreme weather events and devastation. One of the big new developments since the first movie came out a decade ago is that a lot of the investments and initiatives in Silicon Valley ha are now bearing fruit. Renewable energy from solar and wind is now cheaper in many regions than electricity from coal and the cost continues to come down and soon it'll be cheaper everywhere. That's really a game changer. His advice for people who want to help the climate crisis? Then use your voice and use your vote and use your choices in life. Be a part of the solution. Be inconvenient. An inconvenient sequel opens at Bay Area Theaters next Friday, August 4th. In San Francisco, Betty Yu, KBIX 5.